All right, YouTube, thank you guys for checking out another reaction video. Today, I was scrolling through YouTube on incognito mode, and I see a video where it's a girl who is claiming she's visiting an invitation-only salon that is for influencers only. I thought to myself, that's a unique concept. Definitely different, but it's super intriguing. We're barbers. We're pretty much in the same industry. What would that look like for like a barber shop? I've always thought about not making it for influencers only, making it for everyone, but kind of like a super unique, doesn't really make financial sense, private club, invitation only, or membership only. And you go in, you can get your hair cut, you can hit the gym, maybe get some shots up. Maybe there's a cigar lounge and a, and a full liquor bar, like a, a man's private club i guess they have that already but only rich people can afford it how would that idea work i don't know if that idea will work but it's worth trying at some point in my life i'm gonna try it at some point in my life i'm gonna get bored and i'm gonna have too much time in my hands i'm just gonna say you know what let's try this out but anyways let's check out this video i haven't watched it yet she seems like a vlogger or something like that you know it might be a little slow but we're gonna chop it up to make sure all the good parts are in this video so make sure you watch it, all right? And then hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. Oh, you know what? I want to share something with you guys real quick now that we're here. Hold on. Because I got a question for y'all. So you guys are in my back office in my YouTube dashboard. And I want to share this with you guys because I think it's interesting. Check this out. So this button right here means that you're subscribed to me. As I go down the comment section, look at all the people who comment on all my videos, but you're not subscribed. Oh, here's a subscriber. All these comments. Damn, there are more comments from people who aren't subscribed than are subscribed. And most of the people who comment on my videos do it quite often. So I've always thought that was interesting. And I guess the question I want to ask you guys is why haven't you hit the subscribe button? There's some people that even comment things like you should be at a million subscribers already. I can't believe you don't have millions of views or millions of subscribers. And the same people who comment that don't have this little subscribe logo next to them. So I guess I just want to in the comment section, what do I need to do to earn your subscription? Not even earn your subscription, but why haven't you subscribed? That's my question. Cool. Anyways, let's move on to this to this video. All right, here we go. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today we're going somewhere really cool. I'm really about to show you something I've personally never seen before. So about a month ago, I got a DM on Instagram and it was like, do you want to come here and get your hair done? And I was like, yes. This was like nothing I have ever seen before. And the second I got there, I knew that I would have to record it the next time I came just to show you guys. So wow. this salon is an invite only hair salon. So it's like exclusive, it's bougie. I don't know if you can even go there if you're not invited. So what? I really just have to show you guys this salon. So they basically threw in a bunch of blonde highlights and when it was done, it looked so beautiful. Like everyone was complimenting my hair. I got stopped literally on the street. And then like a bunch of famous people go there and it's honestly mind blowing. And just like the bougiest bougie of all so it's in Beverly Hills <laughs> so let's get out of here you're so late to your appointment before because I didn't flat iron my hair or put any product into it everybody and got jeeps these days I think that's it look at how big that is so it's just a salon or a barbershop in a mansion hey you, that's a way you can do it it's a mansion with privacy and a, it'll be a barbershop it's got a basketball court it's got all the perks of a private club so I just walked in the door and they said for us to come back outside to the Jeep and take a boomerang. So that's how you pay? You pay by using your influence to promote the so salon. So this is it. That's the chair that I'm going to sit and do my hair in. This is the main part of the house. This is so dope. I ain't going to lie. That is Why wouldn't you want a bunch of influencers coming to your shop or your salon and just spending the day there promoting it, hanging out there, doing photo shoots there, getting their hair done there? They're not paying, but there's going to be customers that are influenced to come to this salon or this barber shop that'll pay a premium price, not just because they're going to the salon that their favorite influencer goes to or the barber shop, but also because there's so many amenities to it. It could be just like a whole day of relaxation. If you have 10 customers that day that are paying 250 or something like that, you're gonna be able to pay for this mansion. Oh my God! I gotta find a mansion in Tampa. This is brilliant. <laughs> so beautiful. And later when I got my hair dry, where I got to sit and relax and just 
See? Literally hang out with this. And in Tampa, we got the beaches, we got the ocean. Imagine being able to sit out while your hair is processing or you got the, the black mask on or something and you got a beautiful view of the ocean and the beaches, that type of vibe. Bro, they're onto something. I'm gonna do this for the barber industry, so barbers, don't steal my idea. Now I'm just playing. So That's at the crazy. end of this hallway is where they ended up cutting my hair and like talking about what I want in these two little chairs, which I thought were so nice. This is Again, our you get house. like the prettiest view ever. That's me. <laughs> I wonder if this is even legal. <laughs> what do you have for snacks? And he's like, uh, cheese it's and I got the fancy ass tray. <laughs> cheese it. I got some iced coffee. I'm truly out here about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So today I'm just gonna kind of touch up your root line a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of bring the highlights up a little bit hi uh, higher. Sometimes over time the ends get a little bit yellow. They can pick up some brass. There's a lot of stuff in our water that we don't even think about that your hair kind of grabs onto. So I'm gonna kind of lightly lighten up some of the ends, like pull that out. And then I'm gonna send Lauren home with some amazing products to take care of her color. This is different. This is different right here. Different vibes right here. So before I came out here to sit on this chair, they said, let's send her outside to Malibu those ends. That's dope, that's and dope. And was like, heat? And he was like, yeah. So I don't know if this is called Malibu or if that's like a Beverly Hills bougie hair salon way of saying like this. <laughs> that's dope. Can I get a photo with you? Yes. That's one, two, three. Yeah, that's how she's paying for this service. This is what my hair looks like after going to one of the bougiest invite only Beverly Hills mansion type B hair salons. Bam, bitch. I'm loving this. Like, it, I've gotten my hair done a lot of places. I like her personality. That, like, do kind of the same thing and, like, are going for the same thing. And then it's, like, orangey or yellowy when it's done and it looks tacky, like, for lack of a better word. Like, it looks tacky. But the bougie place that I came to today, like, this, this is it. So now I'm going to show you the tea on how and on why all these Instagram people come here. I'm going to put some of their... Uh, Instagram accounts. Uh, I need to know this. Done. Okay. I don't know who they are, but that's dope. That's Hold on. Let's see if, if I know any of the people she Instagram just listed. All right. Do I know any of these people? Amanda Steele. I don't know who this person is. I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't know her. All right. I'm assuming they got like a bunch of followers though. So now it's time for the tea. I, before I got here for the first time, was wondering why literally so many people that I follow on Instagram come here. Here's the gag. So uh, I'm going to put in footage, but um, basically you come and you post a bunch. Like killing it. I love it. Do a photo shoot right there. How does it make you feel knowing that he called you guys his fat five? <laughs> okay guys, so that's the tea on this Beverly Hills Mansion hair salon that is invite only and that everyone on fucking Instagram comes to. Alright guys, this was dope. I'm assuming this is her Instagram. Go follow her guys. That was dope, like her sharing that. That's something that a lot of us would never know existed you know what i mean yeah so she has a million subscribers she's well known let's see what people are saying she's such an original youtuber the best youtuber hands down i disagree <laughs> says you've been uh starting trends back and forth recently if henny don't quit using the phone while driving fancy ass tray it's a glass tupperware <laughs> You're really on the quality content game. She's a good vlogger. I thought there were going to be some slow moments. I watched the entire thing and I was engaged. So the question is, but do other influencers, I wonder how they get their money since influencers can't sell it to anyone. If influencers don't have to pay. Let's see if anybody offers some, some insight. If you look up the brand, it's a hair products line, not a salon. Oh. Oh, only influencers go there to get their product line name out there. Oh, nah, you, I feel like you got to do both because I want the salon aspect or the barbershop aspect to pay the expenses of that mansion and then the profits will come from the product line and the marketing. Might have to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, but the, the influence is to get the products. My hairdresser in Nebraska is friends with Justin and typically flies out to LA to learn from him. She said he charges about $200 to do people's hair. But it's very difficult to get an appointment if you aren't an influencer or someone of high class. He also owns D few hair products. Ah, 200 is really cheap. 200 is not cheap for highlights and a blowout, LMAO. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. Where I live it is, highlights in a cut, 250 easy. They pay 500 plus for every salon visit. Damn, man, these people in the hairdressing industry making money. Felt so poor after watching this. I don't know if this is a joke or not, the salon doesn't look that amazing. Come on, 
It looks like any other house where I live. <sighs> Sometimes, like, when I see comments like this, I just want to, like, meet this person face-to-face -face and interview them and really see what type of person are you. <laughs> All right, so what I was thinking after watching this, so that was very interesting, and I'm, I'm actually gonna show my wife this video because we have Studio 45 that's turned into like a salon, but our lease is up in like a year. So we gotta start planning for that and probably put some money into wherever she's going to grow her business. And I like that concept, but I'm wondering, am I gonna have to buy a mansion? Cause I don't think I'll be able to rent a mansion and do that concept. I've seen some salons in like in Tampa that are like old big houses houses i don't know if they're mansions but old big houses that they converted into salons and it looks it looks dope um but i'm wondering how that would work if it's even legal i'm gonna have to do some research i'm gonna have to do a little bit of work here and figure that out really like the concept really think it's dope i've never seen anybody do that in the barber industry so i definitely want to try that at some point in my career but let me know what you guys thought about that man if you guys know any shops barber shops that are like this share it in the comment section below share their instagram i'll react to their barber shop i'll do some research on them and uh, show them some love but i think it's a dope concept Set, please again if you know of any barbershops that are doing something like that or other salons that are doing something like that please do share their instagram below and uh maybe i'll react to one of those brands one of those businesses that'd be cool guys we drop daily content on this channel so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any notifications we talked about how i can see a lot of you guys ain't subscribed that ain't cool man that's all i asked for just hit the subscribe button notification bell smash the like button love y'all appreciate y'all i'll see y'all on the next video